Hey guys, what is going on? <clears throat> Zarkavius, your lovable big boy. And um, I'm a little bit sick, so we're going to do a little bit of a review here. Not really much of a review, but you guys remember how I do my um, how-tos and stuff like that? Well, I've, I've discovered some pretty cool things, and I wanted to show you how to use them. Um, now, this would be pretty much beginning of the game type stuff. You know, of course, later on you're going to be using much more powerful tools. But I want to show you something that I discovered that's really awesome. And um, pretty much what you want to do is you're going to want your tool forge. Of course, I'm in creative because I'm a beast. And <sighs> really? Okay. Oh, that's right, because I have um, uh, whatever that thing is that makes it uh, inventory tweaks. All right, so you have your tool forge. And you press R. And now it takes three seared bricks, two blocks of iron, and one tool station. Now, this is what I, this is what I usually do. I usually get enough grout just to make three and get enough iron and make this. And the reason why you want to make this is because you want to be able to unlock the cleaver. Now, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting, wait, is that a binding or what is this? Um, okay, yeah. What you want to do is you want to come over here, I think it is. Yep, get that. One tough rod pattern and um, I think it's a large blade. Um, this one right here. So you'll grab this, and now as you can see the cleaver, it takes one, one, and two. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take this over here, and you're gonna want as me you're gonna want two of these. Then you're going to want one of these, and then one of these. Now you're probably wondering, of course, obviously, hey, he's making a paper cleaver. Well, yeah. And it's not going to be that strong, cause, but look, look, see, it's, it's not too strong, it has plus 8 attack damage, that's one more than a diamond sword. So, <clears throat> of course, it's very beginning of game, um, but it has 7 modifiers. Now, let's say you were a beast and you, just, and you went mining, and you are able to get enough gold for a golden apple, one of these, and now, of course, we're just doing the modifiers, so diamond, and, um... This is beginning game, so we're not going to add the nether star to it. And, um, so, wait, I'll go to this one. So you'll put your paper cleaver in, put that there, that there. Now you have eight modifiers. Put this in here, this in here. You have nine modifiers. Now that's nine whole modifiers. And, um, what you want to do is toggle the downfall. <laughs> Uh, once you uh, once you go ahead and you have another portal, you're gonna want to get as much quartz as you can, and um, you know a lot of people are probably thinking, you know, well if you have another portal, you know you're probably gonna have a little bit better tools and a paper cleaver. Well, this you could also do this with the beheading, and you have a hundred percent beheading plus looting three on this sword, and it still does one more than the diamond sword. Look at this. I have 28 wither skulls. That's not spawned in. I went to the nether and I actually killed wither skeletons and um, got all those skulls just because of this sword. And it's really awesome, especially if, if you can fly in the mod, which uh, I have the morph mod so I can fly. Um, I think I actually have jetpacks as well. But um, so anyways, and so what you're going to do is you're going to take that, uh, where'd my cleaver go? Okay, right here. You're going to take this cleaver, you're going to surround it in quartz, you're going to do all that good stuff. Now, you're going to want to save at least one modifier for lapis. And the reason why I'm not doing that is because you guys can use your imagination. See, pretend this is quartz. Just, just pretend. Um, <laughs> sorry. And then you'll get this sword. 576 quartz and 450 lapis. Look at that damage. 21.5 hearts of damage. 42 attack damage. Now, if you want to, you when you get a nether star, which um, you'd want to do this for beheading so you can get um, as many wither skeleton skulls as you want, uh, when you get enough nether stars, you're going to, you can add another modifier to this, you can add a diamond so it has more durability, but the reason why I don't, this is a paper cleaver, as you can see, I think, if I remember correctly, you don't need stacks of paper. The, all you need is one piece of paper. Yeah. All you need is like, you just need pieces of paper. And it, and it heals it for you. And just look at that. I mean, how cheap is that? Would you rather go out and search the world for 
Manolin and trying to find Cobalt and all that other stuff when you're so beginning game to try and heal a sword because you got lucky and got it. No. Look, Sugarcane Farm. Look at that. You, you already have an infinite amount of supply to reboot this sword. Now, I think this one is kind of a... This one is my just, you know, messing around sword. Kind of cheated in a little bit. Because it has the emerald, the diamond. It has all this other stuff. I I get lonely and I get bored and I kind of like talk, <laughs> talk to myself. Which I'm kind of doing right now. So I guess it's not all that bad. Um, and I just kind of like pretend and stuff. Whatever. <laughs> I sound like a total loser right there. But I, I don't really care. Um... Also, another cool thing is um, the big reactor over here. This is awesome. And I'm going to show you how to make a big reactor real quick. And the big reactors are extremely valuable um, if you know what you're doing. So we're going to put in reactor. And, of course, I don't even know what I'm doing. I just got really lucky. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. you don't need a cool and pour. Um, let's see. You need an access port, which I think I have. Yep. And then we'll break this for a second and the reactor power tap. One of these. Okay. And then I think we one oh yeah, the reactor controller, I'm sorry. One reactor controller. Where's the controller? There it is. And you're gonna get your reactor casings. Okay. Now this one right here is um it's pretty big this is uh, it's not the biggest but it is big Let's see one two three four five it's like five by five and i'll i'll build this over here somewhere i'm just gonna break it when i'm done and um this is probably the best way i've noticed to do it uh this is a little bit more towards the end of the game not really end of the game but if you just want like power fast and you have the materials to spend say you've killed a bunch of blizzes and stuff like that well, i'll get to that in a second um so what you'll do is one two three four five one two or one two three four five one two three four five and you just fill this in and now you can't you can I think you can make these as big as you want to but I'm just gonna make this the five by five one so one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five wait oops yeah one two three four five and then you put your access port, actually, you could put your reactor controller there, your reactor power tap, or wherever you want to put the power tap, you can actually put this on either, anywhere you want, so you can actually put this, like, underneath it, so if you wanted to access the power, like, and make it go underground or whatever to wherever you want, you can do that as well, and your access port, and now, um, you can actually, when you get a little bit more into it, you can get reactor glass instead of using the casing, um, so that's what we're going to do for most of this here. We're just going to do this here. Um, I think at this point you really don't even need any more uh, casings. But we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So you're going to build it up like this. It's going to be all pretty. Oh, yeah, no, no. You need um, you need the casings for this area right here. What? Oh, <laughs> my hammer was placing it for me. Stop. Have a time. I'm a big shot. There's no doubt. Light up fire than pee it out. Don't like it. Kiss my up. Oh, God. Alright, so there, and then you can, then you need your reactor fuel rods, I think they're called, re, or, hmm, is it re, uh, um, damn it, fuel, these right here, yellorium fuel rod, take these, you just put them right in the dead center, and you have to have one area to at least close it off, and now, this is where the fun part comes in. Now, just like any other reactor in the world, these can be cooled down, which actually makes them work better. So, the ones I've found to be the most is, um, gel... Is it this? Yes. This right here, and liquid ender? No? Oh, what is, a uh, oh, resonant ender? I don't, I don't remember what it's called. It's like, it's when you melt down ender pearls. Liquefied Ender, not that one. Hmm. Well, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. When you melt down Ender Pearls, you get that stuff. Well, I use this because this right here is pr probably the coldest material you can probably use. I mean, you'll you can tell because it'll uh, actually start making snow blocks. Um. 
So it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, give me one second. Let me make sure everything is working here. Just one second. All right. So yeah, you can also use the resonant ender if you're more beginning of the game and you're just able to make just able to make the reactor. Um, but I prefer to use the Gilead, whatever that is over here. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this. And this one's a little bit trickier because it has to actually it actually fills in. See how it's turning that into snow. Um, I think hopefully this works the way it should because I I'm just going off of what I've noticed. With this being the coolest material, this should be the best coolant, but that's not always the case, especially in Minecraft. Doesn't matter if it's a mod or whatever. So get that there, that there. Let me just make sure that everything is there. Okay. Now you take your reactor glass, cover this up just enough, and you leave one spot for your reactor controller, and there you go. This, I actually don't know what this does right here, I think that just names it. Um, now as you see here, we just need some yellorium, yell, or, there we go, this right here. I, I don't think, I mean, wait, can you put this in here if it's, uh, Oh no, okay. That's just just pulverized. Alright, so you put your yellowium in there. As you can see, it takes a lot of it. And then you come over here and activate reactor. As you see, the temperature is slowly going up, but because of the gelid in there, it's not going to go past like a certain point here. Um, and look at this. Look at all the power you're producing. That's amazing. You are getting 1,408 RF per tick. Now you can make, I think you can make one of these like it's like massively big. Um, I'm not sure who has it, but they have one that's like it, it generates. I think it's like a hundred thousand RF per tick. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the small little run around. I'm sorry that I can't put out um <clears throat> a normal video because you know I'm I'm not really feeling the best, and Beast Node isn't letting me <laughs> turn on Crazy Craft for some reason. It's um, like I'll log into it and it'll kick me out. So I have to I have to figure out what's up with that. The world's definitely not corrupt because <clears throat> I was on it yesterday and I was playing around on it and then the server kind of went down. I don't I don't know what that is. So I'm gonna talk to them and hopefully we can get that fixed and you'll have a crazy craft episode soon. Um, but if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment. Of course, if you're new, subscribe. We always enjoy a new addition to the Arca Army. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. This has been your lovable big boy. Signing out. Peace.